Okay. I need starting in the, in the crease, just right here. Place it over there, just a little bit. Kind of darken that area. So, again, I just wipe the excess off a little cotton pad. Going back in with the quad, just dipping it into that purple colour. Oh, that's kind of gross. Then I'm going to go over that bit where I put the beauty mark and blend the purple colour. Tap it off and just blend it out. Not all the way around. No, that's even. I'm supposed to be now that. Right? Essentially, you can go back in with the um, blending brush, dip a bit in, tap off, and go over. Just like so. You really honestly have to clean this out. Let's make sure it's even. I hope it's even on your side. Let's blend that out. Okay. Now. Used for the highlight, I just clean finger. I wiped it while I was saying. just put in the art. Have a bit of oh. just a little bit. Just kind of lift the area up. I'll get back in with the shadow. So that's using that beige and the colour there. It's good because I was able to use all four um, colours from the quad, so that kind of limits um, the amount of single eyeshadows that I actually have spread all out of my dressing table. Okay, I'll just go back in and blend that. Like so. Um, next I'm actually just going to go back in with my flat brush, go back into that um, pink colour here, and go back in over this bit where my have lost a bit through blending. Okay. Next. Using our um, now using this much brush, I'm gonna go in with Mac Beauty Mat. I'm really sorry that I'm all over the place, still not used to Can we so save from the outer corner going halfway in. Just going to line, see the one that. Out of half of the lower lash line using my Kiss of Sense. I'm going in with this a lot of fiddling around, isn't it? That black colour there. Just a little bit. Tap it off. And you want to go over that. Here where you had the beauty mark. Pull that right up. No, not that one. Not that. Let's take a bit off. So, let's match it up. So it doesn't look too harsh. Oh, what was on the side? Um, 
recording. <laughs> That's my husband. And now he's gone. He gets a growling. He's very supportive. And using the smudge brush, I've gone back in. This pink colour, pink purple colour, just lining the um the inner corner. I'll put some more just so it can stand out. And what you want to do essentially is blend it into the um the black matte black eyeshadow and the beauty marked eyeshadow. I wasn't very sorry. Look at that, that's great. I wasn't very good at taking off my eyeliner. So you just wanna essentially put over that corner. Um so that's it for the eyeshadow. So using the L'Oreal We Infinite Quad and the Matte Beauty Marked eyeshadow. Um, that was basically it for the eyeshadow. Plus um, just the uh, any um, black matte eyeshadow. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to um, go ahead and apply my eyeliner and mascara. And I'll be back soon. Hi there, I'm back. So I've um, lined my upper water, upper water, my upper lash line and my waterline, and put a couple of coats of mascara on. And this is, again, the finished look. And on my lips, I'm wearing CoverGirl's lipstick in Rose Quartz. Um, I actually like this colour, I don't normally wear pink, but uh, it's not really a pink colour. Um, so yeah, so this is my hot pink purple smoky eye look, and hopefully I'll be coming coming back here to put more videos on, just getting um, different eye looks together, and um, just showing you guys what I do for my um, eye shape, which is, like I said, I've got hooded, um, hooded eyes, which is, I find a lot harder for me to do. So, um... Definitely hope you enjoyed watching this and I promise next time I won't dart from my camera to my mirror. But yeah, so um, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you back soon.